The new 2018 Chevrolet Equinox is out, and it looks to turn up the heat in the small SUV competition. The previous and bigger Equinox seemed lost when compared to larger models such as the Toyota Highlander and Hyundai Santa Fe. And it also couldn't compete with smaller SUVs like the Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, and Subaru Forester. The last Equinox had underperforming engines, so of visibility, and not as much equipment as competing SUVs. So this new model couldn't have come at a better time. The new Equinox has finally found its identity and goes smaller. In fact, it's now five inches shorter and about 400 pounds lighter than the last model. There's also no more six cylinder engine. Instead, you can choose among three four cylinders, a 1.5 liter turbo, a two liter turbo, and a fuel thrifty 1.6 liter turbo diesel. We bought a mid-level all wheel drive LT model, which has the 170 horsepower 1.5 liter turbo and six speed automatic. We added some popular options, including a power rear lift gate, a huge sunroof, heated seats, and dual zone automatic climate control. We also got ours with important safety features, such as blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. Bottom line, we spent $33,730. Looking at this price compared to a Honda CR-V EX, however, we're not sure you're getting as much for your money. So negotiate hard at your Chevy dealer. And we're also a little dismayed that forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking are only available on the top trim Premier. We think these should be standard on every model. Spending some time behind the wheel, the Equinox reminds us of GM's fine mainstream sedans, the Chevrolet Cruze and Malibu. That is, the Equinox shares qualities that we admire in these cars, such as a quiet interior, mostly absorbent ride, and reasonably responsive handling. The 1.5 liter turbo gets the job done. Not overly powerful, but adequate. The transmission isn't the slickest. You do feel some shifts, but it's not too objectionable. A stop-start feature is also fairly unobtrusive. The front seats have eight-way power adjustments, including two-way power lumbar. They're reasonably comfortable over a long commute. Front visibility isn't bad, but the rear three-quarter view is compromised by thick pillars. A rear view camera is standard. The rear seat is especially roomy and folds flat to offer a large cargo space. Even though there are some soft touch materials and a bit of chrome scattered about, the overall feel of the interior is a bit on the cheap side, reminding us of a cut-rate rental car. We like this version of GM's MyLink infotainment system. It's easy to use and comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. There's also a good number of USB ports. Like a prize fighter, whether or not the new Equinox can succeed at a lower weight class is yet to be seen. So far, we're impressed with what we see, especially since it embraces many of the attributes that we really like in a few of GM's better sedans. We'll know more as we accumulate the miles and do our formal testing. For more on SUVs, check out consumerreports.org.